The team from Casa Sobre Natural is visiting a house with a malignant demon in this scary clip. At first, they think they see something. É muito assustador, velho. Ah, vai se lascar. Vocês escutaram? Que der? Por não ser mexeu da cadeira, cara. Que que mexeu? Mexeu o que der? Mexeu a cadeira por não ser usando. Você não viu, Sofia? Eu vi, cara. Eu escutei. And then that something makes its presence known. When they dare to enter, things get more aggressive. What is inside? They think it's over, but the demon has one last scare in store for them. In my opinion, there is something truly evil in this house. You can just feel it. Published by Scott Walters in February of 2015. This video again shows that drones over common land or private property are an annoyance to most and a threat to others. Walters explains the precursor to the man's anger in his description. Guy started yelling at me, asked if I had a permit to fly at a kid's park. I asked if he was joking. He said he wasn't, so I told him I needed to land. This is where the video started. After asking again if the operator has a permit to be on a children's playground, the man pushes the drone out of his face. He and the operator exchange words, with the operator telling the man to mind his own business. Don't touch my stuff. Do you have a permit to be on a children's playground? You don't need one. Get out of my face. Hey, You're the one who got in my face, dude. You're in front of my shit. Look, just over over here. Here. I understand. I have mind your own business. Don't come question anybody about this stuff. And the man stating that they're on public property. The argument quickly escalates as anger takes hold. Even as the man turns to leave with his child, the operator continues to shout at him. Those on the aggressive man's side, like Demo Man, said rightly that the drone operator could be liable if his aircraft fell down or flew into a child's head, and others noted that the man was leaving. While the drone operator continued to yell and provoke, those on the operator's side, like Eric Mendez, said that no one is entitled to privacy in the public domain, while others noted that drone operators are often attacked for something that's just a hobby. Whose side are you on? A CCTV system in India shows a man walk past a little girl playing by herself. She reaches out here at the 5 second mark, but I'm not sure if she says anything to him or not. If she does, he doesn't seem to respond. He stops and it looks like he might be concerned for her well-being at first, but that's not the case. At the 45 second mark, he pauses to look directly at her, then over his shoulder to check inside the house nearby, presumably to see if any witnesses were near. He says something to her and brings a hand up to her like she is thinking something through, probably trying to judge if a statement is true. They start to walk away from her house and he is pointing at something all the while maybe at some imaginary promise around the corner, meant to get her to walk with him. Everything is going to plan until she suddenly rushes back. He gives her some distance but does not leave. Time passes and he silently disappears behind a tree. I don't know if he was hoping to pop out and grab her or what, but it's definitely more creepy behavior. He stands there for a full minute after the initial encounter until walking away. Maybe he made a note of this house and plans to return. A YouTuber named Wet Tent takes a friend and goes exploring a tunnel. They find creepy but aren't sure if it's haunted. There are two entrances, so Wet Tent goes down one and his friend goes down the other. Hey! 
He finds his friend face down and not responsive and the video suddenly cuts out, which is what somebody would probably do if this were real. According to Wet Tent, his friend eventually regained consciousness and had no recollection of what made him pass out. It might have been the air quality, but I don't think so because Wet Tent didn't pass out. Whatever it was, it made him go down with a scream. Here it is one more time. Let me know if you think that was a real scream caught on tape because I'm not sure. Did figure, is this a magic trick or a paranormal being? Shared by YouTube channel Kisa Weba, this video is currently trending in the Spanish speaking YouTube community. I was unable to track down the original source. A man is driving down a dark road when suddenly a nightmarish creature stands blocking his path. I'm not sure I would have honked at the hooded figure. I definitely wouldn't have gotten out of the car, but this man does. <laughs> When he approaches the figure and asks it to move, he attempts to pull off its sheet, but he soon regrets it. How did this robed figure hold its form? Where did it disappear to? If this is any kind of magic, I think it's the dark kind. Number 11. Every culture has its own folklore, but the banana tree ghost of Asia is particularly creepy. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. We've seen banana tree ghosts in the past, but this one is extra spooky. Alien Angel writes, Ghost girl crying in a banana tree patch. It is unbelievable what happens towards the end. Traditionally, the ghost hides out in wild banana trees and is with a green complexion, full black hair, and bright red lips. She remains incognito there until full moon drives her out of the darkness, which is when she is made visible at night. Often she is seen standing without touching the ground. Her lower half is represented as not solid, but wispy, like an extension from the trunk of the tree itself. Apart from the tree's fruits being inedible, many don't grow this type of banana tree in their compounds or homes because of their haunted nature. This is also why if you cut a banana tree from the clump in Thailand, it's seen as a bad omen, while the witch is believed to be for the most part a good witch even going so far as to offer food to Buddhist monks who pass her by. With this bit of background, take a look at this video. The Wailing Witch is clearly visible in this banana tree, her long black hair and light green shirt seen amongst the giant banana leaves. What isn't clear is why she's crying like this, or is that crying coming from the person viewing the witch? Is it a cry of fear? <laughs> The viewer doesn't have to be afraid for long, as the witch soon vanishes, flashing up out of the tree and out of sight. While some in the comments say this is surely a witch, others aren't so sure. Redditor Pete318 shares his own personal view writing, There are some areas where spirit people congregate, and you can tell these areas by several things you feel when near them. Whether you believe in the haunting of nature or not, this video is proof that there are some things out there that will forever remain a mystery. While exploring the abandoned Davutlu village, the YouTube crew from Han Kardisler find they're not alone. One woman comes out of the woodwork, the woman leads them to this strange dark figure hiding behind a corner, but the figure disappears as they approach. It then reappears in the downstairs window. The mysterious figure appears only as a form, a shadow if you will. While the crazy woman tells the crew something, 
Her silent husband stands by with his back to the camera. The figure has again vanished from sight. Abi ne oluyor? Benim sevgilim gel buraya. Şaka mı bu? Baksana bu adama baksana kanka. Çok tuhaf çok. Gel. Oğlum bu kadar kafayı yemiş. Şişirin gel buraya. Oh gidiyor gidiyor. And then the woman appears to go nuts. Shooing them off and even throwing stuff at them. Ay çok gidiyor yeter. Hadi hadi. Ay hadi gidin abi. Ay bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hadi gidin abi. After being chased around, they later see the figure in the window again. But it's not any clearer what the figure is. I have no clue what this entity may be, but it seems to me that this old woman might be protecting it from outsiders. I'm not so sure it needs her protection though. A YouTuber named Tanner Shelton is trying to clear his mind by making a TikTok video at the mall when he accidentally records a phantom figure that disappears after a brief but horrifying moment. Hey guys, so I decided to just get out of the house today. I think it's probably good for me to keep my mind off of things and just She has long black hair over her eyes and a white outfit, and the way she is rooted in place hardly looks like an ordinary shopper going about their day. He admittedly does give her ample time to go back around the corner, so this could have been planned. A strange cloud phenomenon in the sky coincided with the appearance of a mysterious lake creature in China. Published by Real UFO in May of 2017, CCTV captured both, which were reported in this news clip. The cloud shape looks almost like a hand reaching to grip something. Then again, clouds can often look strange without it meaning something paranormal is going on. But this lake creature is hard to explain away. It disturbs the water's surface at length, appearing to be a long eel or a sea monster. What is this enormous creature? And does its appearance have anything to do with the sky phenomenon? Or is it simultaneously simply a coincidence? seems suspect to me. The horrific event that happened at University of Idaho has drawn national and international attention. Redditor 2201992 shared some Fox News footage of the investigation, including an interview with a victim's father. During the interview, something odd happens. Listen closely. Um, Holy that's a screen. It does sound like a scream to me too. Some in the comments say it happens three times on the full video posted on the Fox News website. Whether or not this can be explained, considering the interviewer is at the scene of the incident, this terrifying shriek made my hair stand on end. Um, holy that's a scream. A YouTuber named Shadow the Wolf is with his friend when they see a complete stranger walking up to them without saying a word. Oh my god. He's coming closer. Oh my god. Oh Shut my the god. window. They quickly run upstairs and lock the door as the silent figure moves closer. <coughs> I have little doubt that this video is real because they are just some kids and this is clearly a full grown man. They realize he is trying to get in through the garage and quickly lock the basement door. I'm not sure if this is some random person or a fan, but with over 19,000 subscribers, I think it's possible that this could have been one of them. YouTuber More Wolfie is staying at an Airbnb with some friends. In the rental, he's found a trapdoor which he promised viewers he would investigate. He says he doesn't know what's in it, but he wouldn't be surprised if there were raccoons or coyotes living there. As he's based in LA and they're not uncommon, he first politely knocks on the trap door, but unsurprisingly no one answers. Then he pulls the latch and opens the trap door. The phone's video goes blurry. A moment later, they open the door again with a clear video and a flashlight. The door reveals a big pile of dirt with a plastic bottle on top and the interior structure of the house walls. I feel like there's rats and stuff in there, Wolfie says. The woman filming says it's probably haunted. Wolfie considers squeezing into the small space, but after hesitating a bit, he decides against it, suggesting there's probably spiders. 
He finally steps in and backs out again, explaining the small room appears to go much deeper into the underground of the house. In fact, it appears to be a tunnel. Where does it lead? To the underworld, possibly somewhere creepier than the tunnel itself. Wolfie hasn't explored the tunnel any further, so we don't know its destination. Any intrepid explorers here dare to take on the challenge. I made has braved his past through many supernatural situations in the past and expects exploring this haunted place will be no different. He reaches the top without problem. Leaving the haunted building, however, is not so easy. I'm sorry, did you stop here? No, yeah. At 7 minutes and 40 seconds, a shadow person. He loses sight of the figure, but it's back soon enough. Muhammad! And if you're wondering why the scream sounded so close, I think it's because the shadow person might have actually been standing right next to him at 11 minutes and 52 seconds to let loose in his ear. Undeterred, the urbex explorer pursues the shadow person deeper into the haunted place. <laughs> Creepy dolls are moving on their own, and scary voices are screaming from the darkness. The shadow figure is leading him somewhere sinister. <laughs> Everyone has their limit when it comes to paranormal activity, and I made seems to have reached his, alone and outnumbered. He flees the spirits screaming before they make him join their silent ranks. I think that the scream might be an audio sample, because it sounds the same every time. So maybe this video, however bizarre, isn't real after all. Steer clear of this swampland. It is home to prehistoric reptiles. Published by MD Star Beast in May of 2022, the YouTuber is wondering what this creature is. Surrounded by lily pads, a snake-like head protrudes from the swampland. It's very still, but seems to be rising up out of the water. Is it an eel of some kind? Some obscure reptile? A water dragon? What is your theory? This video was recovered from a cell phone left behind by a hotel guest who is in an extra hurry to leave for some reason. He's taking a random video when some chilling moments are caught in his hotel room. Just me and Ann traveling, watching some <laughs> a dark shadow passes in front of him without a sound. The way he was talking out loud to himself makes it sound like he was talking to himself when the mysterious figure makes him gasp out loud and drop the phone. This situation wouldn't be too hard to fake. All you'd need is someone to walk in front of you and act scared, so it might not be real. But if this footage was really found by the next guest, like the description claims, then that's beyond creepy. A family was reportedly taken from this scary abandoned house and these ghost hunters are here to investigate. Published by Dark Arts TV in August of 2021, they first come across a photograph of creepy porcelain dolls. They then open the door to a room before heading outside. While outside, they hear an unexplained sound. So I got a big torch on now. Yo, the house is banged. Another happens shortly after, scaring the crew. Com for sponsoring this video, right? Back inside, while one of them is waiting for the other near the stairs, the front door opens. Later, they hear voices, and it sounds like someone is at the door. 
When they ask the spirit to show itself, they hear it again. Can you show yourself? Outside again, they speak to the spirit through the spirit box, and he tells them what he's ready for. They later hear male voices, not through the spirit box, but nearby. Man's voice, yeah. Two people talking. Yeah, I'm turning this off, mate. They decide it's time to leave before they get taken to. Omar Vassell and his friend are having a very strange problem in the toy section of Target. I will let them explain everything in a moment, but let's just say one of the toys seems to be a little too active. This toy does not go off. This toy does not go off. But the center toy goes off. It's off. My hands over here. Bow. Toy goes off. Just watch. What, what is that? Like, please tell me what that is. America, please. Maybe the batteries are depleted in all of the toys except for the one in the middle, but that still doesn't explain why it would go off when the other toys are touched. I feel like this video could have an obvious explanation that I'm not thinking of, so if you recognize these toys, or if you know anything about the toy manufacturing or design in general, then please let me know how this could possibly happen. YouTuber Renoa Super Genius has something random to share a random secret door hidden in a closet. She says that this door leads to the crawl space under the house and nice cool air always flows from the crack in the door. Since it's getting a bit hot in the house and with no airflow, the YouTuber decides to open the crawl space door, not only to cool the room, but to inspect, or mine as she puts it, the underground. After prying the crawl space up with a screwdriver, the YouTuber spans the area with a camera, and viewers see a whole lot of dirt, wires, and the structural foundation of the home. Not an unusual discovery below deck. When she descends down under, the YouTuber finds cables that don't connect to anything. As the exploration underground continues, she finds an old penny from 1951. One YouTuber in the comments, Kiji Hu, notes, Don't they put pennies in places like this to ward off evil spirits? In fact, it's true that some superstitious beliefs suggest that copper protects homes from evil spirits in the evil eye. Copper is also believed by some to draw good fortune, which is one possible reason why this YouTuber found a penny beneath the home. While crawl spaces beneath homes are not uncommon, most don't go exploring them, so you can imagine what secrets might be hidden under so many homes across the world. Deep inside these tunnels lies something no one was meant to see. Published to YouTube in November of 2016, Connor Does Adventure explains, We did not fake or plan any of this. We just started recording for a blog and this is what we found. Entering deep into a watery tunnel, the boys start to hear something. No. I can't. They all freak each other out and start running towards an exit. At first you think they were just scared and adrenaline caught up with them, but it turns out someone or something was in fact chasing them. Once out in the sunlight, they stand at the entrance before heading into the tunnel a short ways again. A strange squealing sound can be heard, and as the camera focuses in, a figure is clearly seen, although it's unlike any creature you'd ever seen before. It's gray skin and alien-like, and it's marching towards them with a determined air. Any ideas what this is? Is it a madman? Or is it a watery tunnel creature? Most importantly, is this thing harmless, or should they be running immediately? Don't wait around to find out. John T. Taylor TV documents an old abandoned house from the late 90s that is in a total state of disrepair. There's no saving this house, but there also may be spirits inside who have no interest in being saved as well. As he takes a final look from outside, John T. Taylor records what could be two pairs of eyes staring at him from behind a desk and collapsed section of wall. Are these really eyes looking from deeper within, or could they be a series of tiny holes in the far wall with pinpricks of light shining through? 
I think I might see the bottom set of eyes blink at the 4 minute and 46 second mark. So I think I might have the answer. He turns around, goes back to civilization from where he came from, none the wiser about this potentially up and close and personal chance encounter with the other side. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.